Hey everybody, I'm Sonia Tydinko, and on this episode, we caught up with 49ers first round draft pick, Anthony Davis. This is Warriors World TV. Hey everybody, I'm here with Anthony Davis. Anthony, welcome to Warriors World TV. Thank you. You had over 50 scholarship offers right out of high school. Why did you choose Rutgers over other schools like Ohio State? Uh, I felt Rutgers was the best place for me. It was just a coincidence that I happened to be home. But uh, I felt that the coaching staff there would be able to prepare me for what was to come. And I felt that uh, the, when being a little younger, you know what I'm saying, I was a little immature. And I felt looked at the Big East as somewhere I could go and dominate and be out in three years to get to my dream a little faster. Which offensive lineman did you look up to when you were growing up, even now? Uh, Orlando Pace, he just ran through people. He was, uh, he's, he's big, he's a lot bigger than me. But as far as modeling my game after, I would watch like, more like a Walter Jones. And uh, he's good. And, Eventually, I would want some kid to be saying they model their game after me because that's the biggest sign of like, endearment is trying to emulate somebody, you know what I'm saying? Were you intimidated at all by Coach Singletary or, you know, what, what were your thoughts when you him? It was more of an excitement than intimidation. It's, uh, as a football player, he's a legend, you know what I mean? And just seeing him and him coaching me, it's just, it's just so motivating because it's somebody I've been I've been watching like his YouTube clips of the games and stuff like that. And then for him to be my coach, it's like that's pretty sick. What was the first conversation like that you had when you first met him? It was uh I was a little quiet. It was just it's like Anthony. Like his voice he just <laughs> had a strong voice. It's just but I wanted to hear everything he had to say and we have a, a pretty good connection and looking forward to it growing. Wait, do his voice again? Yeah, I can't do it on cue. I can't do it. Can you name five former 49ers? Yeah, I should be. I'm be embarrassed if I can't. We got uh, Guy McIntyre, Jerry Rice. Uh, I know I'm missing people. Uh, Craig, uh, running back number 33. I know his number. Uh, Deion Sanders. We got, uh, Right? Joe Montana. <laughs> Joe, we got Joe Montana. We got Steve Young. Uh, Ray Brown. That's my assistant coach. I said I'm like ninth. Terrible. What would you say uh, is the best thing you like about the Bay Area so far now that you're here? Oh, I love it out here. It's, uh, it's home for me now. I just found my place today. It's a uh, slave back out here. I fit in. I like it out here. I like it out here a lot. Okay. And uh, what do you like to do in your free time? Because I know you have a little bit of time to kill right before the season starts. So what do you like to do? Mm, I don't do much. I wish I had something cooler to say. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I don't, I don't do much. What are some of your hobbies? Mm, I'm trying to learn how to surf. One of the guys on my team, uh, he said he teach me how to surf. So I'm trying to learn how to surf. I usually just play the video games sometimes, but haven't. Got a chance to do that lately since this playbook is humongous. What um, is the first thing that you're gonna buy as a pro? Was that was that your house? Yeah, I'm gonna get a, my my car. I bought a S63 AMG. Ooh, nice. But after training camp, uh, if I reach all my goals, I reward myself. I want a uh, four door Porsche, Panamera. Sick, right? Yeah. That car is, that car <laughs> Good is sick. Choice. Yeah, that car is sick. Okay, and what are you going to buy your mom? Because, you know, everybody buys their mom something. She just won't have to pay any bills for the rest of her life. She's good. I'll take that. Can I be Can I be your mom for the season? <laughs> <I'll tell you. laughs> just kidding. Yeah, All right. Um, being from Jersey, tell us, tell us if it's true. Like, is Jersey really just like Jersey Shore? Do you get down like that? You get the gaudy hairstyle and everything? No, nah, it's corny. <laughs> they, uh, I, see, I, I try to watch that show, but I eventually quit about five minutes in. It's not, it's not really New Jersey. It's they, they wanted a show, so it is kids like that in New Jersey, though. Mm, I seen like one in real life. 
<laughs> but it is it really is he's like that in New Jersey so I can see why people would want to put him on TV and laugh is it true that money equals happiness <laughs> no, what? no it gets crazy once you get money it gets crazy once you get money that's why the most successful people are, are ones like off in their self because if you get sucked into it it's over like it, if it owns you then your life would go downhill from there because then the people you want around you are because of the money and then say the money goes then everything you know leaves because they were there for that money and then you yeah. just empty. <laughs> what was the last thing that made you cry? When I had to, I was leaving Jersey and I thought I was going to be away from home for three weeks and then they told me I'm going to be away for a month and three weeks. Uh, I cried a little bit, like, just because, I don't know, it was all the scenery, I'm leaving, you know what I'm saying? And the, uh, so I'm sitting like this, and the driver is looking <laughs> looking back. I'm like, uh, he's like, so where to? I'm like, uh, the airport. <laughs> <laughs> good cover, good cover. Who would you rather fight, Mike Tyson or Ron Artest? Uh, I think Ron Artest, it would be easier, like, I think. <laughs> Mike Tyson's, uh, yeah. Ron Artest has a therapist, though. <laughs> Mike Tyson's a little, uh, he told somebody, he he said some things that make me want to stay away from him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think just looking at him makes me want to stay away from him. Yeah. What, uh, what are your thoughts on the new Drake album? <laughs> what? <laughs> Drake, Drake is a beast. He's, he's, probably, he's talented. He's very talented. And, uh... I like uh, Fancy, the Renaissance, uh, Show Me a Good Time. When I first heard Show Me a Good Time, it was kind of weird, and then listened to it another time. I was like, all right, I see where you're trying to go with it. Uh, he's a beast up all night. He's a beast. All right, well, good luck to you for the season, thank Anthony, and thank you very much for being here on Warriors World TV. All right, I'm Sonia Tydinko, and we'll see you next time.